how to taper prednisone based on the new Endocrine Society guidelines. I can't tell you how many times I've been asked about tapering prednisone, and I've heard this guideline and that possibility, and now we finally actually have a guideline that states a taper plan and the principles behind the tapering. I'm thrilled to finally have this guidance because in the past, all I had was this one researcher's best guess and then this other endocrinologist recommendation. And now we have the Endocrine Society and the European Society of Endocrinology came together, created the guideline for glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency, and in there, they recommended specific things about tapering and explain things in a way that I finally get it. Even though I've made dozens of videos about tapering, I've talked to many, many people about their specific tapering situation. Now I have a framework and a way to talk about it that is definitive and based on the expert consensus and research across the world. I'm Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist. So. How do you taper prednisone? I've always talked about there are two things that must be in balance, your disease and withdrawal symptoms before you can taper to make sure you're not going too fast. And they gave me a term for this that I'm gonna actually just read it. They said for a glucocorticoid taper, that means a prednisone taper, taper of glucocorticoid therapy dose initially guided by the management of the underlying disease. And they call that a therapeutic taper, and later by the management of glucocoid withdrawal and adrenal insufficiency. And they call that an endocrine taper. So these two things I've always talked about keeping in balance, we have the therapeutic taper and then the endocrine taper. I'm thrilled to have this terminology because I struggled to communicate it in the past and not had these terms. I've never seen them published before in any other research. And so Let's talk about what is the therapeutic taper versus what is an endocrine taper. So essentially at the beginning, the whole point of taking prednisone is to get your disease under control, right? So if you have polymyalgia rheumatica, it's to make the shoulder joint muscular pain go away, allow you to lift your arm, to take a cup of water, to use your shoulders again. For asthma, it's to make sure you can breathe. For our rheumatoid arthritis, it's to make sure you can actually open the jar, right? Whatever you're taking your disease for, that's what we're talking about with a therapeutic taper. So at the beginning, you might need to be on a really high dose, like I had to be, and then you drop it down over time. But it's when you get closer to what your body is normally making that we call it an endocrine taper. So the therapeutic taper is to get your disease under control. And we don't ever taper beyond what your disease allows. You never go cold turkey because without talking to your doctor, because that can lead to an adrenal crisis. But what you do do is make sure that your disease is no longer a problem. And then we can talk about tapering strategically for the endocrine purpose. So stop watching this if your disease is not under control. If your disease is under control and now your goal is to get off of prednisone safely and without pain, let's talk about it. So we're looking out for something to appear called glucocoid withdrawal syndrome. The way you'll know you're experiencing that is if you suddenly feel miserable. So you've got run over by a bus, you have achy, flu-like, miserable symptoms, general malaise, nausea, joint pain, muscle pain, sleep disturbances, mood changes. If those are suddenly happening, it could be the flu or it could be glucocoid withdrawal syndrome and only below seven milligrams could it be true adrenal insufficiency. So the goal of tapering is to avoid those outcomes. It is to go slow enough so that you don't feel miserable and so that your body can recover. When you started taking prednisone, essentially what you did is you turned off the signals in your body that tell your body to make cortisol. Because you're taking prednisone, it's replacing cortisol. It looks just like cortisol to your body. And so when you have a super high dose of cortisol, it's telling a place in your brain, hypothalamus and pituitary gland, to stop sending a signal to your adrenal cortex to make cortisol. 
So you have to slowly taper off prednisone to allow those to recover, to start sending their signals again. And this is how they recommend doing it. On table four in their guideline, it says above 40 milligrams, you can taper by five to 10 milligrams at a time. And you can do that every week. Between 20 and 40 milligrams, you should taper with a five milligram decrease. And you can do that every week. Between 10 and 20 milligrams, they recommend a two and a half milligram decrease. And that decrease is at this point is really dependent on your symptoms. They recommend every one to four weeks. One week if you're dealing with it fine, four weeks if you're having those withdrawal symptoms. Then this is where it starts getting tricky. Between five and 10 milligrams, you taper by one milligram at a time. That's it. That means you need your doctor to prescribe a one milligram tablet. And again, that drop can be every one to four weeks. Finally, at five milligrams, they say, in absence of clinical symptoms or negative testing for adrenal insufficiency, continue one milligram decrease. If low dosage prednisolone preparations are not available, an alternative is to switch to hydrocortisone 20 milligrams with five milligram decreases. And at that point, it's every four weeks. That's a super gentle, very long taper. And it's really individualized to you. If you'd like a printable version of this taper or other ways of tapering, you should check out my video about how to taper prednisone. I go through my prednisone taper chart and you can click the link below to print that off and download it now. Check out my video about how to taper prednisone using my prednisone taper chart. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist. Mm -hmm.